You don't mind being in the film for the opening day, do you? <laughs> <laughs> You gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> nice seeing you. Have a nice day. There it is. <laughs> this is Mr. Dashwell. He is our interim business administrator, and uh, he's done an amazing job making sure these buildings are in tip top shape. So I want to thank him for everything that he's done. Good morning. My name is John Desirable, and as Dr. Zito said, I'm the part time interim acting business administrator. <laughs> That's some title, huh? Uh, I'm just here helping out for a little bit. Very nice meeting you. The business office is here to help you in any way we can. You need anything, feel free to contact the business office at any time and have a great school year. Thank you. I just want to uh, make sure everybody understands that this was our busy time of the year, right? This is where we're doing the most. As you can see by. Terry's desk. We got a lot going on it's here. Crazy indeed. this time of year. Yep. She wants to put the whatever hair I have left off my head. And, and all uh, the gray I have under here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're getting it ready and we're going to be ready for you guys. So I We'll be know. ready. Tony. So I just want to run on tape right now. This is Tony. She is now the supervisor of human resources, and uh, we're going to be doing everything we can to make sure that we provide the best possible experience for our staff. Hi, everyone. Looking forward to this new position and being a great resource for you all. Thank you. you me? We're going to tape you real quick. So, guys, this is Chrissy. Hi. She um, has been updating our transportation and getting our new procedures in place and creating handbooks and dealing with parents and uh doing a great job oh yeah thank you hi everyone it's so, fun time <laughs> you can tell by her desk this is not a fun time for all of us but we're getting there we are we're getting there so this is robin you probably have spoken to her a million times for anything that happens with payroll and definitely timesheets you should <laughs> but we'll get there. I won't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Thanks. Tell me you're off the phone, Jen, anytime. You know, nobody's there. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. It's okay. Have a good day. Bye. So I want you to be introduced to the Jen White Prince filing system. You're so wrong. <laughs> There's just a couple papers that are out of place. We're going to get, but she knows where every single thing is. This is painful. And I just want to know that we appreciate all that you're doing. This is our first time doing our purchase orders the way we're doing them. So it's been quite a learning experience for all of us. It's an understatement. <laughs> he's, uh, he's panning back over. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Dr. Zito. We appreciate you very much, <laughs> Dr. Zito. So this is the brains of the outfit. This is Cheryl. She makes sure that everything we do is correct and that everything we have is legal. And as you can tell by the multiple <laughs> notebooks, she is in charge. Um, so I just want to say thank you for all you do to keep this thank place you. up and running. And uh, say hi to everybody if you'd like to leave me. Hi. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Oh, hi. Do a little filming. A little filming. Everybody doing all right? Yes. All right, good, good, good. What are we training on? Behavior. Yeah, you have All right, I'm just making sure that my presentation is a little better than this. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're right. <laughs> So I could be talking to you guys about all the projects that we did this summer. I could tell you what happened in each of the buildings. I could tell you that we power washed the buildings, that we painted the hallways, we ripped up carpets. We've done cleaning procedures that have never been done here before. But what I really need to talk to you about is what's going to be happening for next year. We're going to be visible. You're going to see us. We're going to be around. We're going to be helpful. The days of us versus them are over. I need you to hear that we're here to work together. How do we make this place move forward if you don't have me helping and moving along next to you rather than against you? I will say to you that 
I'm going to do my best so that you see me everywhere. I'm going to make sure to the best of my ability, I'm there to help you guys. I want to tell you that we have an amazing new program called the Employee Assistance Program. We are thinking of things to do to make your life better and to improve your quality of life. So the Employee Assistance Program is anonymous to us. We'll only know numbers, no names, but for you, it can give you assistance with mental health, financial needs. Um, we're always here as well, but I want you to understand the biggest piece of this is you have a team that works together. We're not working against one another. We're going to be working with you. So if nothing else comes across, I hope you hear that from me. The other piece of this that I want to say, when I was a principal for a million years back in the day, every morning on the announcements, we would say four words, I believe in you. I believe in you means I trust you. I believe in you means that you're listened to. I believe in you means that I care about you. I think it's important that you guys to know, need to know that here in Hamilton Township, I believe in you. And that's what I'm going to be saying to you all the time. So you've worked really hard these last couple of years. And I want to say to you guys, the setback was tough, but the comeback will be much greater than the setback. Let's show them that we can do this Hamilton Township. Thank you. Welcome back everyone. Most of you know me. However, we have quite a few new faces. So I am Roxanne Bryant, the Director of Curriculum. The Curriculum Office spent time over the summer updating and improving district-wide curriculum. We organize workshops to help both veteran and new teachers enhance their instructional, technology, and classroom management skills, which we will continue with in October. Uh, computer science was offered again to the district through Stockton, and we had quite a few teachers participate in that professional development. Some new and exciting programs coming your way. Grade one will be using happy numbers for the first time and will continue with year two of math fluency. Grades one through five will be using a new science program called Amplify. You will have lots of deliveries in your classroom for the materials that were delivered over the summer. Grades one through eight will be able to use Reflex Math, which was piloted last year to help with fact fluency, as well as Edmentum, which will aid students in ELA and math skills. As technology continues to play a crucial role in education, the curriculum department continues to focus on integrating educational technology tools and platforms to better assist teachers in the classroom. And on a closing note, for the first time, there will be a district-wide due date for lesson plans. Each building will have lesson plans due September 18th for the first time for the 23-24 school year. Have a great year. If you don't know who I am, I'm Darnell Williams. I'm the supervisor of Pupil Personnel Services. What does that mean? It means I'm here for you. So, a couple things have been going on since the summer. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I have been working very hard behind the scenes. The first thing I want you to all know is that when it comes to 504s, we are streamlining the process using Hipstervention. Ah yes, Hipstervention. You will be seeing lots of emails, but I promise you, I'll make a video tutorial to how that works and what's going on. <laughs> I promise you, I'll make a video tutorial to how that works and what's going on. But in that platform, you'll find all the 504s and where you will be signing off. If all that's confusing, don't worry about it right now. We'll get there when we get there. Deal? Bullying. We take that very seriously. Please, 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 if you see something, say something. The new law states that LEA 330 form is now online for parents to fill out 
and for teachers. Everyone under the sound of my voice is mandated by law to report anything that they may deem as bullying and then an investigation will start from there. The bullying form is online and it can be accessed via our school website. Hey, summer fun. We had a blast this summer. The Agents for Change program went amazing. Thank you to all the teachers, staff, cafeteria workers, bus drivers. If you don't know what Agents for Change is, it is our program here in the summer that is for our students who are at risk or who just need a little bit more social emotional support. So thank you again to those teachers and staff who made it happen. Lastly, as for me, many of you know I'm always on the go. I've even got the nickname The Flash around here, the board office. However, my time here at the board office has come to an end. Oh, relax, I'm not leaving the district. I'm actually just relocating my office. I will be moving over to the William Davies Middle School. So if you need me, I'm sure you'll just have to call me or leave a voicemail, but I will do my best to make sure I always respond right away. Uh, I'm excited to be heading over to Davies to help out there, but I will still be traveling from school to school. I look forward to a great school year. And seriously, if you need anything, please reach out. We got this. We can do it. Good morning. Most of you know me, but for those of you who don't, my name is Mary Lynn Stecker and my official title is Supervisor of Special Education and Child Study Teams. Like all of our administration here in Hamilton Township, however, I have several hats. I am also the Affirmative Action Officer and the 504 Compliance Officer for the district. So I'll just take a couple of minutes today to share some information about special education, Affirmative Action, 504, and our new Employee Assistance Program, also known as EAP. All of you, no matter what your role is in the district, will impact the lives of students with special needs. As of last May, our students with IEPs, Individualized Education Plans, exceeded 22%. That means that more than one in five of our students have special needs, which is why I say that all of you are gonna impact these students. In order to accommodate the needs of our students with special needs, this year we've added additional staff. We've added an additional special education teacher, an additional speech language pathologist, and an additional school social worker. Now we have 64 special education teachers, approximately 80 special education paraprofessionals, three secretarial staff, seven speech language pathologists, five school psychologists, four school social workers on the child study team, three learning disabilities teachers, teacher consultants, two board certified behavior consultants, one and a half occupational therapists, one physical therapist, and a partridge in a pear tree. Just kidding. Wow, this is an amazing group of people who can assist you in assisting our students with special needs. Our goal and the law is always to support students in the least restrictive environment, LRE, to best meet their needs. In an effort to move forward in this endeavor, we've applied for some grants relative to LRE. More information to come. All certificated staff must read and follow the IEPs of any student in their classes. In order to track that everyone has done this, you must go into Genesis and click on the yellow file folder to access the IEP. As your affirmative action officer, it's my responsibility to share critical information with you each year. Please watch your email for a brief video about the basics of affirmative action. For now, a few important points to note. The Hamilton Township School District does not discriminate on the basis of race, color, national origin, religion, gender, affectional or sexual orientation, ancestry, disability, age, or social or economic status. Please be professional in all, all correspondence, including emails, texts, etc. It is possible that these may be subpoenaed or opened. Be extremely cautious in what you post on social media. You are always an ambassador of the district. 
As a 504 compliance officer, it is my responsibility to oversee our 504 process in the district. More specific to all of you, it is my responsibility to work with any staff members with disabilities if they need reasonable accommodations. Please contact me if I can be of assistance. New this year is our Employee Assistance Program, EAP for short. There will be a 10 minute video explaining the program coming to you via email in the next few days. Our EAP offers counseling, legal and financial consultation, work life assistance, and crisis intervention to all employees and anyone living in your household. The services are strictly confidential. The district will never be informed of who uses the services. Wallet cards to access these services are available today in the lobby. Additionally, watch the newsletter for more information. And lastly, the staff and student services newsletter. I will continue to send this newsletter each Friday to share information about all the topics I covered today and more. Have a positive, productive, pleasant school year. Hi everybody, my name is Daniel Cartwright. I serve the community as the principal of the Shaner Primary School and I work alongside of Colleen Bertones, who is our early childhood supervisor. Colleen's going to introduce herself. Actually, she's not. She didn't want to do this. This is not true. Colleen was the star of the video, but we decided to edit her out so others, particularly Dan, didn't feel like they weren't on her cinematic level. While I have you. Did you know that Dan was one of the first people to be eliminated during the school dodgeball tournament last year? Rough. So, Colleen works with me, and all summer long, Colleen, Lisa, Diane, and I have been working hard packing up boxes. We actually went into all the preschool classrooms, uh, boxed everything up, and we were preparing to ship all of the preschool materials over here to the, uh, to the Davie School. Uh, Dr. Holmstrom found out about it and she said that's fine as long as you guys take seventh grade uh, at, at Shaner. So once we heard that was you know the trade, we decided to keep preschool right where right where they are uh, at, at Shaner. So we would then went to plan B and decided let's let's do some work at Shaner to make the school a better place for our students and for our staff. Uh, so starting outside we had uh, for a project that has been in place for many years, hoping to get done. Uh, we got our sidewalks and building cleaned on the outside, got all the rust stains off the front of the building. Uh, it looks pretty amazing. We uh, are working with uh, an irrigation company to get finally get our irrigation installed uh, so that we can plant grass and shade trees on our playground. Uh, that's been a long time coming. Inside the building, all of our A hallway and D hallway classrooms have new flooring, uh, all the cargo is taken out and we have brand new tile flooring in those classrooms. Our main office and our conference room have been refurbished uh, along with our upstairs staff cafeteria and we've been also working on our downstairs lower level staff cafeteria to make that a, a nicer experience for the staff uh, each day. Our preschool classrooms, all but one preschool classroom will have uh, access to a restroom. Uh, that project is actually underway right now the plumbing is completed, and by the time school starts, everything will be framed back in and closed back up so that those classrooms now have access to a restroom. A number of our kindergarten classrooms, B and C hallway classrooms, have been painted, and we are just embarking on a project to really update those 1957, 59, and 64 classrooms uh, to uh, actually make them really nice places. So we're, we can't wait to get that project started. Uh, we're gonna begin with uh, a classroom or two and then slowly work our way down those hallways to make uh, those spaces uh, fresh and new and up to date. Um, so I'm excited about that. Our kindergarten students this year will have uh, an enhanced learning experience that includes technology instruction, physical education instruction, and a more comprehensive deep dive into mathematics and literacy learning. From all of us at the Shaner School, we wish all of you a wonderful school year. Hello 
everyone. My name is Melanie Lamontier, and I'm principal here at the George L. Hess Educational Complex. I look forward to welcoming everyone to our school during the opening PDs and beyond as we continue to prepare for the upcoming school year. I'd like to highlight a few of the things that have been taking place over the summer in preparation for your return here today. One of the first things I would like to talk to you about are some of the facilities upgrades that have been taking place here over the course of the summer. One of the things you'll notice as you drive up to the building is that it has been freshly power washed and it's gleaming now. We have revised drop off and pick up procedures this school year, which have been refined to include additional signage around the building to guide parents in these processes. One of the other upgrades we will have and be unveiling in December is a brand new playground area for our grade one students. Until such time as the playground becomes available, we will be providing our young learners with a safe and engaging space to play and explore with additional equipment that is being purchased for their use. Inside the school, various improvements have been made to enhance the learning environment. Hallways have been freshly painted, giving the school a vibrant and welcoming atmosphere. A new flooring has been installed in select areas of the building, further enhancing the overall aesthetics and functionality of our facilities. With regards to curriculum, specifically here at the Hess School, one of the biggest initiatives we have will be the implementation of our new science materials to support the NJSLA learning standards in science. Professional development has already begun and will continue to occur throughout the school year to aid everyone in supporting the implementation of the new science materials. With regards to our grading policy and reporting, we are introducing a new grading policy that bridges the primary school and the middle school to ensure that we provide a streamlined and comprehensive approach of our students' academic success and progress. Parents can expect to receive both traditional grades on a standard scale and detailed information regarding their students specific learning as it pertains to the NJSLA standards whether or not mastery has been attained or whether or not further attention is required with regards to those specific standards. The detailed reporting will provide valuable insights into our students strengths and or areas in need of growth. With regards to our student mentoring program, we are proud to be able to continue to provide a more robust student mentoring program in its second year. The program is thoroughly aligned with Positive Behavioral Interventions and Supports, PBIS, and aims to provide our students with valuable guidance, support, and mentorship. Our School Climate and Culture Committee will be guided and led by our PBIS and grade level coordinators to ensure alignment with PBIS core values as we plan activities and events for both students and staff. We are looking forward to welcoming you back to the Hess Elementary School and are committed to working as a team to create an enriching and supportive environment where each student can thrive. We look forward to a successful and productive school year ahead. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jen Holmstrom and I am the principal here at William Devey School. We have been extremely busy this summer, uh, doing a lot around the school physically. When you come into Davies, it looks like a whole new building. All of our rugs and carpets have been taken out of the hallways. Our entire halls are redone with our school colors. Uh, it's red, black, and white. We also have been revamping our IMC. We are super excited for our students to assist us in naming our new IMC. We have a TV broadcasting class and club that is going into our IMC. They'll be taking over some of our morning announcements. They'll be working on our sports broadcasting, and they'll also be working on showcasing all the amazing things that happen here at Davies. We also have a medical science program. We have worked very hard this past year to create a pathway with Ocrest. So our medical science classes will be pathwaying with the medical science program or biomed program up at Ocrest. Our students in grades 7th and 8th each will get a 30-day rotation of medical science. We've partnered also with Care, who have provided us many materials and equipment to allow our students to be certified 
in both first aid and CPR and just to show our students and our kids here that there are many things to do out in the world just besides doctors and nurses but the medical science field is, is plentiful for them. So we have our new IMC. When you go over to IMC, take a look at the windows and the TV broadcasting. Some of our STEM equipment will be moved in there between 3D printers and robotics. All of that happening between STEM room, which has completely been cleaned out and all of the great equipment that was almost hidden last year is brought to the forefront uh, in our STEM room. Another thing that we have stressed very hard here at Davies is the importance of operating as a team. So with that philosophy, we have moved all our administrative team into the main office area. We have also moved all of our guidance into the old 8th grade office, which is right across from the IMC. It's a hub where students can always go and find somebody who can assist them at all times. And then we also have our child study team all housed in the upstairs 6th grade office. Again, so they can work together and work cooperatively to make sure that the needs of all of our students are met all the time. So whether you are in the lair, which is our main office, or if you're in the nest upstairs, we are all of these different areas are there to make sure that we are constantly working as a team and meeting the needs of all students within our building. So on a final note, we're excited to have our administrative team take on our 23-24 school year with all the members of our lair here at William Davies. We're super excited for the school year to begin and we can't wait to welcome our drive again back home uh, to enjoy the new school year. I know you just finished watching the film and so I heard Cartwright talking a little bit of smack on me. Well, you see where I am? We're going to go find him. Mm -hmm. We're going to go find Cartwright and kind of put him in his place. And I want to get a couple of things straight, first of all. So we're not opposed to switching. It, it is true. They, they packed up all the things. They were trying to get preschool to come back to Davies. Which is fine, but from my understanding, when you had asked him to lift a box of stuffed animals, he threw his back out and therefore could no longer bring the boxes over. So it was really out of care for him that we said it's okay, keep them there. We like our seventh graders anyway, although sure. we would love the pre-K kids. We're going to go find him and I think the challenge is on. Sounds good. Let's go. Hey, who's the car right here? What's Are that? you here to arrest Mr. Cartwright? No, no, no. no. <laughs> we'll see Not today. No, I haven't seen him. <laughs> Hi, have you seen Cartwright? I'm sorry? Have you seen Cartwright? No. This big, bald head, a little shiny. No. no? Oh. So it was, I, I was just saying to Colleen, who wasn't in your video, because I heard her uh, Oscar-worthy performance would have outdone you. So on the video, when you had said that we wouldn't take the pre-K, we would love to take the pre-K. Okay. And Colleen had shared that when you were getting ready to lift the boxes of stuffed animals, you threw your back out. And that's why we didn't end up switching everything. But so we think from Davies, we want to kind of do a challenge at this point. Okay. So whether it be a, a trivia show or a talent show or something where seventh grade goes against pre-K. So really the core issue of seventh grade was the prospect of having Ian Levine come to Shaner and that is really the reason we were like no we can't do this so oh, it wasn't if, you, if the, you're saying that that's not part of, the, part of the deal then we can proceed with the challenge okay no I you don't want Levine do you want Levine <laughs> let's just skip to the next part yeah, okay we could we can make this happen oh yeah we're definitely up for it so Davy seventh graders versus pre-k. Mm -hmm. So when pre-k pre beats seventh grade, what jersey no, should... No, seventh grade beats pre-k. I mean, you're a huge Phillies fan, right? Oh, I am. So to, to wear a Mets jersey would be painful? It, w it would be. Good, good. So that's what we're doing. Okay. Well, we can talk about what, what you'll wear in... After careful consideration and deliberation with the Shaner team, Mr. Cartwright has agreed to the terms as follows. Should preschool win, then the Davies administrative team will sing the following. Shaner's mascots better. Shaner's mascots better. Dragons are fictitious. And nobody can deny 